launch of Aditya L1, the first space-based Indian observatory to study the sun. Well, it's scheduled for 2nd of September. It's going to happen at about 11.50. Uh, and the launch is again scheduled from Sri Harikota. The spacecraft will travel 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth, nearly four times farther than that of the Moon mission. The probe will be launched aboard ISRO's PSLV XL rocket and will head towards the Lagrange point, that is L1. And traveling four months in total, it will finally reach the desired orbit. Aditya L1 will study coronal heating, solar wind acceleration, coronal mass ejections and even the sun's atmosphere and its effect on the earth. Now we spoke to multiple scientists about it, about how this mission is going to be important, what are the biggest takeaways, let's listen. Actually that is a study project, I think they are going to study at a distance of 15 lakh kilometers, it is going closer to sun and they are trying to understand the core and it's a good project. See, in ISRO, we have no dearth of knowledge or intelligence or anything. ISRO is all set to go to the sun, but it is very important to understand what ISRO is trying to do because there have been missions that have tried to study the sun's outer atmosphere. Now, this particular mission by ISRO will be doing the same, but it has its own set of instruments on board as well. We're talking about seven payloads that this particular probe will be carrying. Now, what exactly will Aditya L1 do? That's the main question. Now, Aditya L1 will, in fact, go around 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, which is around four times farther than the moon and that's a lot of distance to cover. It will take around four months to cover this entire distance and once it goes there, Aditya L1 will park itself in a point known as L1. Now this is a Lagrange 1 point. So basically what happens is when there are two bodies, two celestial bodies which have a gravitational system, there is a particular region that is created where a vehicle or a spacecraft can be parked and it has to use minimal fuel to in fact continue its duration and that is exactly a point where Aditya L1 will be parked. So ISRO clearly trying to save fuel as well here. Again, one of their highlights has been how cost effective the missions have been and Aditya L1 will also have all of that. Now what exactly will Aditya L1 do? That's the next question. Now Aditya L1 will study uh, the sun's corona, the uh, chromosphere and also the focus will be on the sun's atmosphere, upper atmosphere. What exactly causes the corona mass ejections? What exactly causes the solar winds? How it affects uh, you know the, the temperatures on earth, the weather here and all of those details. So a a lot of key key details will be picked up by this particular probe and as and when it does once it reaches that particular point this will be a major boost to India's space mission because this again will be a data point that will be looked at from uh, the space agencies from around the world and India will of course be sharing all of these details with the rest of the world and that could again aid their future missions as well. Hello talk us uh, through the entire mission and how challenging it will be. Uh, Mr. Girish Lingana, aerospace and defense analyst is with us. Uh, Mr. Girish, uh, you know, we've spoke, uh, the entire country has been celebrating over the last one week over the success of, uh, you know, Chandrayaan 3. But now this is an entire different ball game. It's four times, uh, you know, the distance that uh, this particular spacecraft traveled, that is Chandra for Chandrayaan 3. Uh, if you could take us to the challenges that's really involved in a mission like this. The, uh, I will tell you the distance between the Earth and Sun is 15 crore kilometers. That is very important. And what we are now traveling is to the 15 lakh kilometers. We are not going near to the Sun. We are still away, <laughs> around 1 crore 35 lakhs away from the Sun. So that should be, all should know that. The L1 point where we are going to park, that is the Lagrange point. Here, the the gravity between the sun and the uh, earth get neutralized. Means it will be equal to the centripetal force. It equalizes the centripetal force. When it is equalizes the centripetal force, the satellites keep over in, in that alloy orbit. It is called as the alloy. It send it, it send it from L1. It goes to the alloy orbit where it keeps just hovering. So from there, it focuses towards the sun. So it will have a direct view. There are five Lagrange points, but L1 point gives a direct view of the sun and it ensures that there is no blockage. Even if there is an eclipse or anything like that, it still does not have any blockage and it can study the sun. 
this is the one thing you have to understand and this mission is for 5 years approximately okay. they are going to watch the sun through the telescope you can say through the telescope for 5 years and this is a very new project because this is the first time we are traveling to the l1 lagrange point and it is the first study of the sun what india is going to attempt we also have a uh, satellite there already stationed uh, one is known as soco i think so this is the nasa and isa joint venture they have already parked a satellite there and they are also doing some similar studies already so the aditya l1 we are do, i'll tell you in a very simple words we are uh, focusing aditya l1 broadly on two terms one is the long term and one is the short term these are the two purposes of sending aditya l1 what is the short term is the solar storm which gets ejected from the corona that is the outer atmosphere of the sun where the uh, where you can say that uh, the solar storms uh, like a huge uh, blobs or stuff for burst or uh, fiery energy comes out we are studying that what will happen when this comes out is it can spoil our space satellites india has got 50000 crore worth of satellites already on in the space it can it can burn out our satellites it can cause some problems in our electricity grids uh, on the ground it can spoil our gps system so this is how this is going to affect how we can protect from these type of uh, solar storms this is the short term goal what aditya l1 is going to do and next is the long term goal what it is uh, uh, studying is the ultraviolet rays which is coming out of the sun which some newton meters more than 380 or something it can pierce through our clouds and it can cause some damages to the clouds the water temperature and the uh, temperature uh, variation all these things it can cause on the earth so we are studying these type of ultraviolet rays also through this aditya l1 this is the long term mission what we are going to do in this there are two specific payloads called as the vlc visible emission line coronagraph that is being developed by indian institute of astrophysics uh, bangalore and one is the solar ultraviolet imaging telescope which is been developed by the indian institute of astrophysics uh, pune these are the very two important uh, payloads out of the seven payloads what we are sending and these two has to be spoken more uh, probably i don't know when we have time we can spoke, speak more about these two uh, payloads why is it so important and what is the speciality what, what, if you could payloads. just in brief tell and us the significance of these payloads that's not going See, to technical this, details for the common man to understand what what you did mention of course <laughs> understanding the solar storm is one thing that will be a short term girls of course the one of the payloads will uh, you know achieve that what are the other uh, biggest takeaways as far as the payloads and what it will study is concerned see i'll tell you the uh, visible emission line coronagraph it studies the solar corona i am telling you in a very simple it studies the solar corona and it study the dynamics of the coronal mass ejections this is the one thing that is visible emission line coronagraph it is just like a telescope with a band inside it only allows the uh, very uh, low uh, light we can see even even very very low lights and we can study very accurately this is the one type of uh, vlc what has been delivered the other one is solar ultraviolet imaging telescope they call it as suit it will image the solar photosphere and chromosphere the photosphere is called the surface of the sun after that comes the chromosphere so it will be studying more about the photosphere and chromosphere and one more thing i want to say this the sun center is uh, somewhere around 150 lakh degree centigrade it is the uh, in the middle of the uh, sun center but when it comes to the photosphere the surface of the sun it drops to 5000 degree centigrade but when you come to the outer atmosphere again it goes to around 2 lakh degree centigrade see when there is some uh, gathering a uh, fire uh, this one and all when we are near to that fire uh, this one we feel hot but when we go away we feel little cold but in sun it is not happening like that center is very hot but when we come to the outside 
it again becomes very hot. But inside it is very cold. So these type of uh, uh, variation of the temperature from the sun outer sphere to the center is to be studied. Why such uh, variations is happening? When we go far, we should be feel cold, but it is getting very high. Uh, it is getting very hot. So why this uh, variation in temperature? All these studies are going to happen in this Aditya Alvanich. Okay, now talking about, uh, you know, we, we, you just did mention, of course, we're not going all the way till the sun, which which would be nearly impossible for any country, uh, you know, to uh, do anything of that sort. But uh, from the L1, as far as observations is concerned, uh, how long can, you know, ISRO really sustain? Because you did mention it's five years, but we've seen our other missions, be it, uh, you know, the mission to Mars or be it even Chandrayaan-2, the orbiter, uh, it, it is actually performing or rather doing its duty more than what it was supposed to as well. So can we expect this study to continue beyond five years as well? Yes, it might be because nothing can be told uh, as of now. But the study, the machine is, uh, uh, it is designed for doing a uh, five-year study of this Aditya album. Right. Thank you then, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Lingana for joining us. Uh, and sharing your insight with us over, uh, you know, all of these uh, details is an important uh, mission, of course. Uh, September 2nd, uh, we'll be there at Sri Harikota to bring our viewers up to date as to what are the developments taking place. And we are using PSL Also bring you a first-hand uh, view this of the takeoff in itself. It, we are using PSLV Excel. Yeah. This is the rocket we are going to use it. That also you get it. Yeah. We go only to the low Earth orbit and from there, from the boosters, yes. we elongate We elongate. Okay. Okay, then thank you for calling, inviting. Yeah. Okay.